Hello, you just the host. We here I'm here to probably present to you our first and start of our Mother's Day tricks videos. Here is our first of our second one. There is a second one. Within this one, you're gonna be seeing is 18 tricks and magic. In this one, that will definitely be very sweet and very golden. Without any further ado, let's get to it right now. So get those like thumbs up for me, and let's go into them from here. To our first magic trick we're gonna get into, we're gonna get into the magic trick which I like to call the Dixie's Magic Appearing Froche Magic Trick. This is what this sweet one will look like. Okay, so, so here I got is this very interesting looking ceramic Dixie cup right here that has the lid on with um, a, a flower onto it here. Gonna actually, is to take this. What I'm going to is just put the lid back on like this. Watch. By magic, I make a froze appear in the ceramic Dixie cup seen as we hear. How is this sweet master trick done? I will show you. All you'll need is a ferro froze. One. Take off the uh, bomb part and you just get just this. This does not actually fit. As you can see right there. Okay, so how to, to work this? All you gotta do is you have the ferro for, er, rose part down into your lap for now. That way, the ceramic Dixie right here has the lid on and start off with that aside for now. You're going to is collect the um, ceramic Dixie cup, take off the lid and so right here. As you grab the lid, you're going to is secretly go down and grab the froze and bring it right to do it like this for a, a cover. Bring it, bring it forward, having this facing you. Place this in. Have your other fingers hiding the part right here. All I gotta do is lift off the lid like this. And by magic, making a fair ferocity appear in the ceramic Dixie cup scene just here. You can leave it in if you want to, or take it out. It's in it's entirely up to you. After it is done, you can you, you can um, put that like right onto the table for a nice table display on the side scene just right here. Makes a very sweet master trick that, that you, you, you can do uh, for, for your mother or the your mother and as well as the entire family and that right there is how you do the magic trick too the magic dixies appearing froze magic trick and our next one we going to get into is taking a ball and by magic changing its, its color in a very stylized way and that goes to our trick number two and that goes to the magic Color Ball Deluxe Master Trick is what this Deluxe Master Trick will look like. So here I hold is this nice red spunk ball. I'll just uh, place this into my fist like this. Watch. <sighs> By magic, that changes into pink. And what is this? But Blue. Let me see what I could do with this. I take this out like this. And I'm 
going to gonna go I'm going to place this into my fist as well too like that okay so the, the blue is in my hand already watch by magic the blue vanishes and also be seen is the pink ball seen just for here so how did I change the color of the ball in a very stylized way and having the other ball to vanish and also be seen is the pink ball how is this deluxe one done? I'll show you. This deluxe, you will be needing the following. And that is a, a pink balloon right here. You, you're going to cut to get this right here. Then you, you will need is a red sponge ball and a blue sponge ball. You're going to is first start off with the balloon right here where your fingers are. That way it's easy to open up the balloon right there. You're going to is conceal the, the blue ball right here into your hands too, to just like that. First you want to change is the first ball <laughs> color from red to pink so here's the red sponge ball use your finger right here I'll place it in the balloon like this hold it there and you can all hold your hand over and change the ball like that so the red now changes into the pink ball all to be seen is the blue take the blue out and you can go and repeat the same thing to set that is just simply just doing the same thing like that. The blue now goes into the balloon like this, into your fist. Hold that there and hold your hand onto it and go like this. And by magic, the blue ball vanishes. And all to be seen left is the pink ball seen just here. Makes a very uh, a great um, deluxe magic trick that you could do for your mom as well as the entire family as well too. And that right there is how you do the magic trick too. The magic color ball deluxe magic trick. To our next magic trick we get to. From two we get down to our third trick from here. And that goes right to something that is very warming. Something that we all have that we love that's in the uh, kitchen that you have a kettle and hot water and make yourself a what? A tea. Yes, a tea. Now this any tea, a Tetley tea. But this Tetley tea is a magical one. And that goes to the magic trick which I like to call the Tetley's Flaming Tea Magic Trick. And what this will look like. For this one, I'll be right here in the kitchen for this one. Here we will dim the lights a bit for this as well too. So here I got is my uh, Tetley's tea here. What is it? It is chamomile lemon herbal tea. Let me just go get this open here. And I have is my lighter with me. What I could do with this. Get the tea to the flame. Flaming hot tea. Now, let's let it steep. Wow! That is a definitely a hot tea. Now, all we gotta do is have a little bit of Chamomile tea. Tea for two? How is this master trick done? I'll show you. So here is a fantastic one. Here are the things that you'll need to get and gather to perform the Tetley's Magic Flaming Tea Magic Trick. All you need is only three things and 
seen here are the Twix table. They are one, a, li a liar, two, the Tetley's tea. You're going to is take the tea bags out of the uh, out of the uh, tin right here. What you're going to do is preload that with your rubbing alcohol. That's what's causing it to flame. Make sure the, the lid gets involved as well too. On top after. What you're going to do is preload this in like this. Good, good amount inside. And then put the cap back on and set this aside. You do not need this now, because now it's in set here. What you're going to do here is take to the lid of the uh, tea container and place on just like this. So it looks like um, that there's tea bags inside here. But really, there's no tea bags inside there, but they will know because it comes with the lid on top. So it looks very natural. You're going to do this in medium shade. That way they get see the, f the uh, flame from the Tetley's uh, tin seen just here. Here I will dim the lights so you, 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 you can see. But before we do, I'm going to show you what, what you'll do first. As you open it up, you're going to is tip this. And then put this on like this and have it to greet into there, into the alcohol there, and that's what's gonna cause it to flame. Here now, I'll uh, dim the lights so you can see the next step. Here I just dimmed the lights over here for this one. So here, open it. Say, who wants some chamomile tea? Open the, the lid carefully. And then, go like this. And by magic, you get flaming hot Tetley tea in the tin. As now, a flame is to be seen coming from it. Very epic. All you gotta do is once you have enough of the flames, is blow forcefully down and it will distinguish all the flames. <sighs> Just like that. It's a very epic master trick that, that you could do. There it, it uh, gets the Tetley uh, T. At the end of it, you could say, hmm, who wants some um, flaming hot chamomile? Tetley tea, tea for two, or tea f uh, tea for it. anyone, something like that. Just to add to it after the master trick is is done, and that's how you do the master the master trick too. The Tetley's magic flaming tea master trick. It's a very eye casting master trick, a very epic one. There it gets a flame of love from that one as well too. And that's how you do the measure measure tr trick to it. Bring us down from three, we get to our trick number four from here. And that goes right to the measure trick, which I like to call the vanishing silk to the donut measure trick. And so this what it look like where do donuts like to be, but in the kitchen. Why? Because this is a part of baking. I'll see you in the kitchen for this one. So here I am in the, the kitchen to where you see on this plate is something that mom baked. What is that? But a donut right here on the plate. I'll place this down inside and we'll be here for now. I want you guys to pay attention to this silk that I have here. It's a very interesting looking uh, classical silk. Here, we're gonna actually, is make it to vanish. I wonder 
um, about that donut right there. If we can actually see what we could do with that silk and that donut right there. Watch this, Mom. Watch. Where did the silk go? Here is the, uh, the uh, donut right here. Let me just go and get the uh, donut right here. This just reach into the, the donut here and look. By magic, I pull out the silk that I just made vanish. Now, I'll put the dirty donut back onto the plate. Baking magic! How is this magic, magic trick done? Ah, uh, I'll show you this is done right now. Here's what, what you'll need to pull this magic trick off. Because all you'll need is what you'll see here. A nice classical looking vintage like silk sash. You'll need is your magician's thumb tip and a donut. I got you there. It looks it looks like a real a donut. There, I pranked you with that one too because you know why? This is not a real donut. It is a dog toy, uh, a dog toy donut. Right here. Right, that has a uh, thing here, you press, and it squeaks. So it's a dog toy donut, but it really does look like, and so like, a real donut with the guys on top and the sprinkles on top as well, too. And it really does look like a real donut to make it look real. Put it onto a plate, just like this, and then put that aside. What you're going, going to do is, is conceal your thumb tip like this while holding on to the silk sash right there. You're going to is place it into your thumb tip just like this. Like that. I put it on like this. Be very quick like that. And say, okay, so here, the silk's in, into there, and here I got is the, do, the donut right over here on the plate like this. And say, okay, I wonder. Okay, let's make this vanish. Move your fingers and that bow like this. And make it to vanish. So say, okay, so we made it vanish. Where do you think it ended up? Motion to it. I guess you can take the plate if you want to. And then stick your thumb, your thumb tip in the middle of the hole of the dog toy donut scene. Just right here. Like that. Hold on to it like this, and take out the silk, just like this, from the donut hole, just like that. There it is done. Remove the thumb tip, and then place the donut back onto the plate, seen right here. There you, you can just put the donut back onto the side, and give you the thumb tip a dish. And all that's to be seen is the silk that you just made vanish. And that right there, so you do the magic bashing, the magic bashing silk to the donut magic trick. So what we can do in the kitchen where the baking takes place. From four, now we get down to our trick number five here on our uh, uh, video one of our Mother's Day tricks videos for this year of the year of 2023. To our fifth one. We get to the magic trick, which I like to call the magic wine glass card change magic trick. Is what this will look like. Here, I step it from the you right now. So here, we'll jet right here in the kitchen as well too. In the wine glass, we have a nice pink and purple napkin cloth to be exact 
I'll just put that onto my arm. Right here. All to be seen here is some cards in the wine glass. I'm going to place the wine glass just right over here. Okay, I'm going to is have you select a card. So I'm going to stop. That one. Okay. I'm going to is um, to have that card here and have it to change. I'm going to keep it here. So here is the uh, card right here. So what is down from Jack? Okay. So there's that. What is down from the Jack card right here. Well, we'll find out because here now I take is the wine glass here. I'll place that card in the inside just like that. You can see here. And I got this. Okay. Well, that's what I could do with this. Ten. Ten Jack, right? So guess what? The jack turned into a 10. What comes after 10? Again, watch. Very carefully from 10. To the jack. How was this one done? I will show you. The, the revealing for this. Back in into where the textbook is for the, re the re revealing part of this magic trick. For this magic trick, you need the following. One, a deck of cards. Any deck of cards will work. Then you will need is this wine glass right here. That will actually fit in the cards like that. Like, so get a size that will actually fit the, the uh, cards. Next, you'll need is a covering. Here I'm using is this purple and pink uh, uh, face cloth right here. First up, you want to is have anyone cite a card. I can also ask your mom to also select the card too. Let's say she picked um, the eight of hearts. You want to find the same suit to change into it. Make sure it's the same suit though. So like say next one is the seven of hearts right here, right? But what we're going to do is make sure that is actually on top of the, the uh, deck, just like this. Now you can square it up like that. And you're going to is go like, like this. So the A card, and you're going to is, uh, go like this behind of it this will create a double back card so to select a card then with the uh, wine glass over here the, you're going to is place the card into the wine glass just like this I said the deck can just be set aside you're going to is unfold the face cloth or napkin to see this and have it on to your arm to see like this. With the wine glass, you're going to is put your fingers down here 
and you're going to is turn it like this. You want to, to, to do that under the covering of this. Make sure you hold that in the hand over here like that. That way you take this and you go like this. Under it like this. And brush it like that. To change it. Seven. You want to be very. You want to be very. Uh, you want to be very quick about it too. Like that. Make sure you brush over, like that. So eight is their card. Ready? And do that. And by magic, changing the card in the wine glass. Seeing this right here. There it's done. Just put on the um, towel or whatever you have. And dress it onto your arm, holding the wine glass with their card. Go in, take the take their card, and ditch the one that's double backed onto it. That way they get to see their card, or all the way around, ditch their card and have the card that it changed into as a as a token. The master trick, well done. And now I'll just place the wine glass right here where the other stuff is on the side of the tricks table. And to go off that, I'll place this in the middle of it and just like this to add a little something extra. Just about there in this table a very nice setup and that right there so you do and perform with the magic trick to the the magic wine glass card change magic trick also known as the magic change card wine glass magic trick it's a girl you could do on the Mother's Day, let alone for the entire family as old too. Bring us down to our next one we get to. We're gonna get ourselves is a lace and two sleeve covers. And by magic, we'll have one of them to pass right through the lace. The magic trick here at our sixth one goes to the lace sleeves master trick is what this will, will look like as I say lace like so here I got is my nice um, lace right here and I got these two sleeves now let's make the magic happen with the three one two three here are the tricks table for this one First step we're going to is um, dress the lace into the uh, sleeve just like this, like that. Okay, right there. So the lace is right there. And here I got is my. You can see the lace right there, right there. Okay, so there's no means. But for me to actually uh, have this to like um, go right through the lace, right? I just put it into here. Watch this. You can see the lace is right there. It is right there. Watch this. By magic, I take it one, and the lace is still inside. That it magically went right through the lace. Let's check out the lace, shall we? I'll pull it like this. 
There. You can see the lace is intact. So how did I get that one sleeve to go right through the lace and have the lace intact? I'll show you. And that is the things that you'll need to get to make this happen. And that's right here, right at the chick's table. You'll need the, the uh, following items. One, a shoelace. A nice colorful one that looks just like this. That says angel on it or something like it. Then you'll, what you'll need are these sleeve covers, like sleeve box like covers. One stays intact. One you're going to, going to do is poke a hole to here, and poke a hole to the other side here. That we can easily is take the lace and push in just like this. Like that. Even the lace out. That way you can see it like this. So the lace in here, see it like this. So again, the lace right there. Take the next sleeve thing you're going to is go in like this and passing it through this. So you can see that it's passing right through. That we can easily move it out right there. This will be like this though. Because make sure that it's just like this. Make sure you just wait like that. So you can see it's just right there. So have it about right here. And then move it in. Reach in and pull this. Like this. Like that. And by magic, it passes right through the lace. You can take a look at this sleeve. And from there, pull out the lace just like that. You can take a look at the other sleeve too. And you can take a look at the, um, Lace as well too. Both could be examined. And that way there's a do and perform perform the magic trick too. The magic lace sleeves magic trick. You can do that too. Um uh, other things like instruction paper and other like that. But here where the sleeves for this besides as the lace that you'll use for the for the magic trick. It's a very slick magic trick and a very impressive one. And that's that's how you do and perform the magic the magic trick to that one. Bring us on to our next one we get to we're gonna take is a moisturizer um shampoo and uh, one gold coin, and by magic, we'll make it vanish. And to our trick number seven, goes into just that. That goes to the Vanishing Coin Moisturizer Bottle. Magic trick. Here's what this will look like. So here I got is this one gold uh, uh, a coin here. And I got is this uh, moisturizer um, ball here it actually is um, something very magical with that watch this okay I'm gonna pick this up completely vanishes where does it end up right in my hand right there you can see right here so how is this magic trick, trick done? I'll show you. For this, you're going to need 
a few items to get with this master trick. Okay, looks like we got something here. That is doing his own magic. I don't know if you've seen that. Wow, interesting. Anyways, looks like it, it loved this magic trick. And now here I'm going to do that re re revealing how this was done and pulled. For this, you're going to be needing is what you'll see here two gold coins, and then some scotch tape. Then you'll need here is this moisturizing shampoo or moisturizing cream with bottle tube seems to be here. You're going to is take a nice hunk. Of scotch tape and you're going to is well you can also use double sided tape if you want to just like this and stick that to the bottom of the ball of the ball tube just right there make sure you have it right right into the center part just right about here you're going to is have that facing you. You're going to have one coin, and you're going to put that into your thumb crevice. You see, just right here, where the pointer finger is. So that way, it looks just like this. Put that aside, and you need to go. Have the one gold coin up in the middle part of the table, like this. Making it to vanish is very very simple. It's simply by Placing this right over the coin right there. It's just right there. You'll have it like this Standing up this now goes into your palm as you are doing that with your hands and the fingers And you're gonna pick this up like this as you do, open your fist It disappears and ends up into your palm your hand You see this you see there take this off like that, so you can take a look at the bottom of the moisturizing shampoo. Tube seems to here. You can also do that in different way too, just, just by having one. I'm going like this. Like that. By putting it under, something like this works as well too. Or if you want to, you can just do um, it by hand, like this. Coming over, over, and going, going, going like that. So you don't need a tape if you don't want to. But that can be another alternative and making the coin vanish by the moisturizing tube seen so just here. With that, I'll just add the gold coins into this glass over here. And that way, there, there, so you do and perform the magic trick to the magic vanishing co a coin moisturizer bottle magic trick. You, you can add to to any bottle. It could be a shampoo or something. Of that sort as well, as well too. That makes a great message that you could do for Mother's Day as well as for fun for the entire family. That you could do is to add it to the top as well too. You could do um in the palm, palm of your hand or on the tabletop for the, that match trick. Here we're going to get is one feral for Rose and the box of it and by magic we'll make it do a sweet escape. Coming into our trick number eight goes to the great for Rose's escape magic trick. This is what this sweet sweet escape will look like. So here I got is my Farrah Fro Frozy box. Here. Let me open it up. What do we have inside here? Uh, 
a ferro frosé. Right here. Okay. We're going to use this place's box aside to over here f uh, f for now. I'll place it into this. Like this. Okay, you can see me? I'll be putting it in just right here. Okay. Let's just put, put it in all the way like that. Going to is um, have this tie like that. The frose is just right here. Okay, I'm going to is uh, simply just to put this into the frose box. Okay, like this. So the frose is in here. I'll place into the box. So there's no way we could have it do his escape. Okay, here I got is this cup right here that we, we will be using. Okay, here again, actually this place is up front like this. Watch, from here, you think, this. Okay, we gonna actually is make it do a sweet escape from here to the cup, watch here I make it do a sweet escape on the box the cover the, the uh, pouch in the inside with it in and now what's this right here caused by the cup how is this master trick done I'll show you a very with a very sweet one because all you'll need is one feral frose chocolate the frose box see this here and you'll need is a pouch bag this way see here with the pull tabs and a cup so only one, two, three, four, four items for, uh, for this. What you're going to do is put the ferro frose here. Is make sure you open the box first, like this. It's fine if it's down like that for now. As now you're going to is. So, you're putting in the frose into the uh, pouch like this, and then sew it in right there. You're going to instantly re remove it out and tucked back over here like this, and wrap it up like that. And then you're going to is use the pull tabs right here and to fasten it together like this. This now could come out very easily off like this. You're gonna keep this bunch up. This is now palmed. Make sure you ball this up and placed right into the frozen box like this and get it close. This now by the cup, you're going to is place this down like this. Cup goes over it like that. They know it's in here because they've seen you put it inside here. Into the bag, into the box. See, so, okay, what we actually is making it sweet escape. Take your hand and motion to a cup like this and point. Or draw. Take your fingers like this, and go like this, over, pull it up like that, and by magic, it makes a sweet escape. On the pouch, in the box, now escapes the two, and appears right in front of you by the cup.
Now, so you get the Ferozzi to do a sweet escape. Um, the pouch, the box, by the cup. Now, on to the trick table. Okay, now, I'll place the Ferozzi bo box over here. And I'll place that just right where the other one is just right over here. Makes for a very sweet classical magic trick. And that right there, so you do and perform the magic trick too. The magic escaping froze magic trick. So our ninth one we get to. Our ninth magic trick. And that goes right to the magic flower glass magic trick. Is what like this what it looks like. Here's the performance you right now. So here I got is this flower in the in the glass right here. Okay, you can actually is uh, place this into the go last right here. We're gonna actually is so you can try and get it to here. No, it will not go through. Okay, so only way is just right here. And here I got is this right here. Okay, you can actually is to uh hold it like this okay I'm going to is um uh, have the flower to actually go right through the, the uh, glass here's the opening watch this is just just, re just reach in watch the flow watch this by magic it goes right through the glass I'll place that over here. Well, now I'll show you the glass. So, how did I get the flower to actually go right through the glass? I'll show you. So, here is a classical magic trick. And here to show you how this was done and performed. All you will be eating is this nice um, classical looking um, glass here that has these nice mirror like things and give it a nice good pink trim onto it and a covering. You know, he's using the pink uh, purple one here. Then you'll need is a big flower, nice white flower here that you'll place into the glass like this first. Take it out like that. And then place it in like this. And so you can actually is put it right through the glass. I'll bop it down like this. And it does not come out as well. So you can also use the finger and tap there. Or if you want to, use the spoon. Get the kitchenware involved. Like a spoon. So it's solid matter. Like that. That way you know it's solid matter. What you're going to do here. Is as you put this on here, you're gonna absolutely flip it like this underneath, like this, and close it down like this. Open this is right there, but they won't know it. They'll know the opening is just on the top. So you're gonna say, okay, so here's the oh, here is the entrance way into the glass, or you can say, here's the opening part of the glass. Reach in here, we have the stem here, and pull, I'll pull out like this. And by magic, Holding the flower out of a, the glass. Place the flower into your color of your neck like this if you want to. And then what I gotta do is flip it like this. Like this. So the, the entrance way is up and the one that's down is the bottom of the glass. Again, go take a spoon and go like this. To here, that was so, 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 all that matter. And that right there is how you do and perform the magic trick. Two, 
the magic flower glass magic trick. What you do for your mother as well as the entire the entire family. For the next magic trick, we get to to our tenth one, and that goes to the the magic dancing fine ball set magic trick. Here's what this little thing's one here is. A classical one. A classical gem one. So here I got is a uh, set where here is, is a very, very fine, elegant, and very crystal like. Here I got the ball right here. You see, this a nice, a nice glass that I have. It looks very fine, very fine. And the same with this um, nice bowl that goes well with the glass. All I have here is this nice magic wand right here. That we're going to is to do some very magical with this. Here, I take the ball and I place it into my hand right here. Here I take is the magic wand here. Get away with this. Watch. I make it just disappear. Okay, again. Actually, is it to um, get this gl glass here. I'm going to just have it to appear in here. Watch. It appears. Under and into the fine set bowl. Right here. How is this very fine master trick done? I'll show you. All you'll need is a red sponge ball, a fine, very fine glass right here, and a very fine crystal bowl. This is a, this is a, is a, a set, a crystal set. Then the only need is a magic wand. Here I made this magic wand specifically for this magic trick, this combo magic trick. You're going to is place the ball into the cup, the glass, and place that into the very fine bowl wand. Now. Is this onto the side of it seen here? You're going to is take the is take the ball out, and then take the glass out and place that side. Seen here. You're going to place this into your hand like this and pick up the wand like this. And you're going to is grab this very quickly like this and wave like this. And make it to vanish right here. You're going to is as you put the wand down, is transfer it back into your hand like this. Pick up the fine glass and place it like this onto the plate carefully like this. Hand is covering it. Pick up the wand, wave over. The fine glass and give it a uh, mighty fine tap like that. Then pick this up like this slowly, go to the tail of the glass and pick it up like that. And by magic, it appears under it and into the, the fine bowl is the ball that you just made vanish. Right here, it's done. Present. After it is done, if you're building a display, you can want to place the glass right there. Like that. It can look very nice. And the nice fine bowl, just right over here. Wand. You can go over here as well, too. I'll first is even this out like this. There we go. Look at that. Now that they are set up, it's looking 
very, very fine from, from, from over here. Makes a very fine, fine, fine magic trick to do for Mother's Day, as well as making her feel, feel very special, as well as a very fine, epic magic trick to do for the entire family over the May springtime. And that right there is how you do and perform the magic trick to the magic bashing fine ball set. Magic trick. Bring us down to our 11th one, and that goes right to the magic trick, which I like to call the magic fine wine magic trick. Is what this fine wine magic trick will look like. So, how very fine is this wine? We will find out. It looks. It looks. It looks golden. The wine looks very, very golden. I even have is this magic wine that we'll use for this. I'll place that aside for now. Or I'll give this a dresser here. Here's the wine here. That I'm gonna actually is with the magic wand and say the words, how fine is this wine? By the magic of a mother and by the magic of May spring. We'll see what that did. Just for just go like this and watch. Look right here. The wine turns into gold. That's how fine it was. Gold wine turns into now is gold coins in the palm of my hand. How is this master trick done? I'm about to re reveal the very fine going secret to you right now. Here's what you need to pull this amazing classical golden master trick. What you will need is what you'll see here at the AI tricks table. You will need is gold coins with a little buck or two. Those nice and nice and very golden. It's golden as this right here. This is actually the fake wine that goes into this glass like this. You're going to is uh, preload the gold coins in the back of it back here. Like this. Now these coins come in into a mesh bag. That. So the gold coins are in the back here. You'll need a covering for it and a magic wand to go through it too, to the to provide the magic. This now here stays just like this. So you know, uh, so the wine like this. This is happening under the um, scarf right here. So you're going to is remove this like this. But before you do. Dress it on, like that. Use a ma magic wand. And wave and say the words, how fine is this wine? The magic of a mother and the magic of a May spring. And give it a tap from there. So a little bit of that goes a long way in this is very magical with this. You reach in and pull out the gimmick, the gimmick piece like this. All to be seen is the, co the coins in the inside. Give this now a ditch into your lap. As now you put the gold coins on the wine that you turned into in your hand and then just let them fall off like this. Just, just like that. It's a very golden one and a very fine one. Okay, what you could do for Mother's Day as well as for the entire family. Making them feel nice and golden as well too for 
the main spring time. And that way, does he do the magic trick too? The magic fine wine magic trick. That puts us right down to our 12th one here on our uh, first installment of our Mother's Day trick videos for this uh, for this year and for the springtime as well too. The spring of the May of 2023. Anyways, here's the 12th one. Here you're going to take uh, wine into some cups and by magic make it vanish in a very unique way. And it goes to the vanishing fine wine cups. Magic trick. Here's what this will look like. So here I got is my wine glass right here. The wine in, in the inside. What I'm going to is have just a little bit going to here. Like that. Okay. What I'm going to is now transfer it to the other cup right here. Like that. Okay, I'm gonna actually is something very magical with it. Okay. I'm going to is move my magic wand, wave over here. Wave here. And wave on, on here. Like that. Okay. So that we put the magic into the two. I'm going to is place the uh, wine into here. Like that. Okay, so that is now all empty. Wine is inside here. Okay. I'm going to is move this around. What we're also going to do with this. Watch. Oh, completely, it disappears. I just actually made the wine to vanish after the magic wand taps on each cup. How is this magic trick done? I'll show you this is done right now. So here is a very fine magic trick. I'm going to show you how this fine ma wine magic trick is done and performed. All you'll need are only a few simple things for this. Here you'll need is the following. Magic wand. And I'll use this as a pointer. You'll need our two of the same cups. One, two. And you'll need is um, tissue paper from the washroom. Um, juice or wine or sparkly, sparkly, whatever you prefer, and a tall wine glass right there. That looks very nice and very fine too. It has a nice trim onto it. First, thing, what you want to do is before you do all that, you want to do is a little bit of prep. This is not much re re required. What you're going to is take your toilet paper, and then you're going to get um, quite a bit like this. That way it absorbs quite a bit. Fold it up like this. Maybe do a little bit more, more for further absorption. Like that. I place into one of the cups right here. Like that. You're going to have this cup right here. And this cup right here. You next up in the same prep line as this. Take your juice, whatever you have, and put it into that tall wine glass or plastic wine glass like this. D don't put a lot into this. About that much right there. That now comes forward. Right there. Now this cap can go on, and you are good to go to perform the magic trick. 
Okay. So now once that's done, you are good to go. First stop, what you're going to do here is take the wine, the tall wine a glass, and you're going to pour it into the one that does not have the tissue paper. Tissue paper is just right there in the last glass. You're going to dump it onto the table like this. So you can see it being poured in like this. And this can now be over here. Then you're going to do is dump it in to the other one with the tissue paper. Like this. All of it. It will absorb like this. Okay. You're going to is to pick up the magic wand and tap that one. Tap the uh, the second one, then tap the wine glass like this. A few waves, and tap each one by the magic wand, putting magic into the three. You're going to is with one, and secretly dump it in at an angle like this. So it won't it won't fall out because it's already been absorbed. But you like that. The way to know it's being dumped. Drag like this. And dispose of the tissue paper. Forcefully like this. Down below. Here now you're going to switch this to make me believe that it's now inside here. This now is like this. Also put it down and then transfer to the tall wine glass like this. And make the wine to Magically vanish. So the cup's now completely empty. And now you made the fine wine to vanish caused by what? The magic wand. And with that, I'll place this just right over here. To add to this setup. And that right there, so you do and perform the master trick to the vanishing fine wine cups master trick. It's a classical one and makes a very good one you could do right at tabletop. Bring us down to our 50 film we get to. That goes into um, a fine streamer and a tall like uh, cup. And the master trick there is what I like to call the um, magic. Fine streamer cut uh, uh, wine cup magic trick is what this will look like. It's the, the, the performance. So, here I'm going to it is get my drink into to this cup here. You can see the, the streamer is right there. Now I'm pointing at okay. I'm gonna add something into this one. that there I'll stop there I'm going to now place this aside and here I got is this streamer right here okay now actually yes you take this here now I'm going to do something very very interesting I'm gonna actually use a magic wand to get the magic in the inside here first, like that. I'm going, going to, is uh, to take this and go here. Okay, so I'm going to is hold this like this, and actually go right through this with the liquid in the inside. Watch holes right through and the liquid stays in the inside you see right here so how was this master trick done as it is about to reveal this is good to you right now so here is a very fine one because of the fine cut with this beamer and 
the cup right here. All you will need is your like your wine or your punch, a plastic tall cup that looks like this, and nice and blue, and a streamer. Before you do uh, that, you're going to is fill this up with um, your juice like this. So you see the liquid going in the inside. Place this, this aside. You do not need this. Now, okay. You're going to is um to take this like this. And you're going to is um go through here. And you're gonna hold this like this. That way it passes right through. I'll come up close, I'll show you what it's like up close. Like this, and go, go, go like that. Hold onto here. Pull like this. But it want to be very quick. So you hold it there, and you get into it like this. Hold. So the 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 streamer and pull like that would be very quick and by magic it uh, goes right through the bottom part of the uh, cup with the liquid in the inside it's just just you know, right there and if you want you can pour the dia dia a dia drink into a glass And look, dump it into here. Look how golden it looks. It's like the coins have blessed the wine in the inside of this. It's a very fine and elegant magic trick that you could do for your mother as well as the entire family with that one. That would definitely bring a great. Uh, Eyes widen with nice gold. And that's that. It's a very fine cut one. To the next one we get to, we're going to is take some eggnog and change it into punch. To our 14th one, when we get to, it goes to the nog to punch. Magic trick. Is what this will look like. For this, I'll see you in the kitchen for this one. First and foremost, all we need to get is the eggnog. That's just in the fridge. It's just right down over there. Okay, look, nice eggnog carton. I'm going to is just to give this and open just like that. Now I'm gonna go find is a nice fine wine glass for this. So here I got is my nice wine glass here. I'm gonna go and get my uh eggnog. Watch this. By magic it changes into punch. Eggnog right into Punch. Mmm, yummy. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So how did I get the eggnog to turn it into punch? As it is about to reveal the secret behind the magic nog to punch. Magic trick. For this magic trick you will need is this uh, special um a food coloring. Yes, actually neon food coloring. Go for the punch one, we you see there. It comes in many colors. But from the punch, you can use a little bit of this, which is actually um, neon pink, which is what this is right here. So you'll need that for that. To go with it, you, you'll need is wine glass. A nice and fine one. What we're going to is prep that 
by putting a little bit of this in like this. What I can do for Mother's Day as well too. Put it in. Go down to the bottom. And ever so lightly drop a few to here. At a distance, you don't even see it. Up close, you can see it a little bit just right there. Right there. The next thing you need is your classical eggnog. So what you'll see just right here. Place and put that into your fridge before the magic trick starts. Or if you have eggnog, you can just use a little, little bit of that as well too. Right here, actually, I made this specifically for this in this very carton right here. So here, you put that into the fridge. Just like that. Just right there. Down in the very bottom. You can see, you can see it, it's just right there. Sir, door stands closed. And now you're good to go to perform the magic trick. First things first, you want to go get your egg on curtain from the fridge. So you're going to go to the fridge and open the fridge door first. And go for the eggnog. Right here. And then you're going to is before um, putting it into the glass. We're going to open it up first, just like this. Now place this, this aside. Now welcome in the fine wine glass and present that. Go get your uh, eggnog uh, 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 carton and give it a dump into the wine glass like this. Now by magic, the eggnog turns into punch in the fine wine glass seen this here. Cheers. Cheers to Mace. Mace Spring. Mmm, yummy. Mmm, mm, 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 mm. mm, tasty. And that right there is how you do and perform the magic trick to the magic nog to punch. Magic trick, also known as the magic egg nog to punch. So what you do for your mother, as well as the entire family with that one, you can get one in the kitchen or out in the living room. A little too. And forget the gifts. And coming into our trick number 15, we get to the magic color gift mat. Magic trick. This is this will look like. This is how, for this, I'll see you back to our tricks table. So here I got you is this nice uh, color mat over here. Can check it out. I'll give it a wrap. Like that. I'll hold it right there. I'm going to reach into the mat. And watch. Pull out a gift of Epsom salts. From the gift mat. How is this master trick done? I'll show you this is done right now. All you need are only two things, and that's just this colorful mat right here. It's like a placemat woven. And you'll need is any gift will do. Here I have is this Epsom salts right here that looks really, really nice. Okay, you're going to is um, get the gift, whatever you have, and you're going to place it in the back of the mat. You cover the mat like this. Closest to you. That way you can hold the mat like this and go like this. So, like that. Don't go past that. Go about here. And then there, just give it a wrap like this. Put it down onto the table. I'll pull, pull, go into the mat, and pull out this. Make sure mat stays up as you pull out the gift. 
There it is done. Place it up front of the table there and present and present. There it is done. Wrap up the gift mat. Just like this. And that right there, so you do the magic color gift mat. Magic trick. Guys, mom really does like um, doing things with knitting and making crafts that way and that too. And she knit a lot of great things for, for me as well too. And here I'm going to show you a magic trick that's all about knitting. Not any kind of knitting, magic knitting. Goes right down her alley as well too. So here is a very, a very, cre a very cre cre creative one. That goes into our 16th one, and that goes to the sewing basket. Magic trick is what this will sew like. So, here I got my pearl beads into this nice tall cup so you can see right here. And it has line and a knitting needle. And with that, we have a basket. That is any basket, a special one. I'll show you. We have is this right here that has the flowers onto it. Doesn't that look beautiful? Okay, I'm going to do is do some magic and sew those beads together by what? Spring. May spring magic. So here I take my line and I take my sewing needle first. I'm gonna turn it on like this. I'm gonna give it a um a little bit of a tie here. Just a little loose tie. Right here. Like that. I'm going to place this into the basket like this. Okay, right into the basket just like that. So the line is in there and a sewing needle is inside there. Let me make sure I get all the line inside here. And then I'm going to is um, take the pearls here. I'm going to actually put it into the basket right here. Okay, so all of it is now inside the basket right here. And it actually is do a little bit of uh, um, sewing magic with it. I think I will need is my uh, my magic wand is what I will need for, for this magic trick. Ah, here we go. Right here. So I'll use this and it will make um sewing magic. I was just picked this aside for now. I was I was only some room. Okay. So the magic of sewing. Sew me a pearl necklace. Okay, we'll see what that did. Okay, so here I'm going to is reach in and look. It sewed me together a pearl necklace. Very fine. And that's that. It goes into jewelry. So how did I do, do this a magic trick? I'll show you. Right here is a very fine one. I'll turn on this light so you can see what it is that you'll be needing to get for this magic trick. And that's what you'll see right here. You will need to get to the smallest to the biggest. Is a, is a knitting needle kind of bigger? You'll, you'll need is a, a line, thick, dense fishing line. The real is just in the basket right here. And that's this right here. So look for some dense fishing line uh, for the thread 
for what you're about to do. What you're going to do is get yourself a huge, big hunk of this. I have one out already right here. You will need is a pearl necklace. Then you're gonna preload into a, fl a flower basket. Which is just, just right here. You'll need our pearl beads right here in this tall cup right here. And you also need is a, a, a gimmick um, box with some fabric in the inside that you're going to go in a place just like over here in the back of it like that. So it'll look like this. I'm moving this away so you can see it's just right here. This is where the pearl, the pearls, right here, will go in here, not the basket, right into the, the gimmick over here. So here I'm just going to is gather the line, move that forward. The same as this, I'll place these uh, pearls just over here. Right there, okay. Then a ma magic wand for the magic. Then you're going to here is take the big needle here and with the line here is Thread it into the big needle in the eye hole of it. Just like this. You can, you can tie it on if you want to, or leave it off. You can just get it all tight, just like this. Right there. The thing you're going to is um, place this in to the basket. Like that. Line always goes in first with the needle, like this. It's just, just right here. Get the uh, pearls and put it into here, back here. This will give you the illusion that you have to put it inside the fire basket. So like this. That. Get it all inside there. This now that has these can now go down. So you do not need that. There's a hole back here in the basket. That way you can take out the needle part here and pull it right through like that. That way it will ditch that. Go into your magic wand, wave over, and say to the magic of sewing. So sew me a pearl, pearl necklace. Like that. Inside. Reach in. And then grab the pearl necklace. And by magic. By sewing magic. Sew a pearl necklace. See? Just to here. After it's done. Just put it over your neck. Just like that to add something to it. It's a very fine one because it goes into sewing as well as jewelry. The, the pearls of the necklace. And that right there is how you do the magic sewing basket magic trick. Also, also known as the magic sewing flower flower basket magic trick. There it gets a spring in there. The sewing as well as the magic that will sew everything together to making a pearl necklace you see me wearing around my neck. That too was a magic trick that I invented for this very installment.
for our video one of two. Join us when we get to, to our 17th one, and that goes to the magic wand appearing bouquet. Magic trick. Is what this will appear like. Here I hold is this magic wand? Watch. By magic, I get a bouquet produced by the wand and into this. How was this one done? As is about to reveal the secret behind the magic appearing bouquet wand magic trick. So here is a wonderful one. All you need to get this is a white bouquet of flowers or any color of a, a bouquet will do. Pink or purple or the colors of May Spring. What you'll need here is a hollow wand. Then you can place the bouquet in like this. Right here. Then you'll need is a nice pink scarf that you can actually see right through. Ooh. <laughs> I just had to. <laughs> you're gonna hold the bouquet like this and tuck it in like this. All to be seen is the wand. The bouquet is just hanging behind here by your forearm connected to your armpit. Almost. You're going to pull it out quickly and go like this. Make sure it is being held in with this. Like this. From here. Like that, and that magic by the wand making a bouquet appear in the um, nice scarf scene. This is here. And to do the magic appearing wand bouquet magic trick. The next one we get to, we're gonna get into the last one, to our 18th one, and that goes right to the, the magic color wand mat magic trick. It's like this, a little effect right here. With this, let's get back to our our, tri uh, our trick station over in the room. I'll see you right there. So here I got my uh, my uh, my nice color mat here, and I got my magic wand here. Okay, I'm gonna hold this right here. Watch what I could do with this. Watch very uh, uh, carefully at that magic wand. Watch. Hold there. I make it just dis 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 disappear from there. Okay, again, watch from here. I make it reappear. I do it again from here. And watch. And again, I make it reappear by the use of the color mat. How is this magic trick done? I'll show you this is done right now. All you need is a magic wand. Here we're using the one from what I've made from before. The nice pink wand tips and purple right here. All the colors you see in this video are the colors you see me wearing as flowers on here. Okay, so the mat right here is absolutely not a mat. Actually, is a pillow cover right here. It has the pillow part right here, part of it there. That's what's allowing for the wand to vanish and the, to be produced by it. So you're gonna hold it like this, hold the wand on top like that, and present. Wand goes down here, and it holds right there in the back right there. Hold that, hold it like this, and go like this, watch. Make it vanish. Make it appear. But go going, going like this. Take it out, and go like that. Put it back in again. And go like that. Out. Like that. By the use of this right here, you can actually go like this. 
back like that go out like this and make it up here that way too and as you do that magic trick too the magic color wand mat magic trick there it brings more colors out to you with this one and there you go, all 18 tricks of magic that you could do for your mom, the family, over the May, spring, Tamsel too. Um, May long weekend is is coming up, so you can, you can also take those magic tricks and perform them for the May long weekend as well too. Now here I'm going, I'm going to uh, see you back for our video 2 in this, and after the uh, video 2, We'll get into our installment five of our St. Patrick's trick videos. And it's really Reese, peace, have yourself a happy rest blessed of your spring May. Now, let's start this one off. With the pearl necklace.